Finance Committee meeting, October 28th. It's at 6.06 is the time. And uh, today we're going to um, go over the warrant and we're gonna do all our recommendations for town meeting. Um, I just wanna announce who is here. Myself, Amy Biden. We have Paul Benjamin. Here. Andy Kopaki, or Dual Carmar, and on Zoom is Peter Matusko. So we'll be doing Hello. roll, roll call votes for everything tonight. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so uh, I just want to tell everyone what's just a few of my thoughts on the budget. Um, oh, let's start with the minutes. We're going to do a, a, before we get into the budget, let's do the minutes. Uh, we sent around the minutes, um, and that would be for our last meeting, I believe, the 21st. Yeah. And we Just do have... that it says it's 15th in here. Oh, I guess sorry. I screw up anything. No, I don't. Okay. It's the minutes for the 21st. We already approved the minutes for thought. the 15th. Yeah, that's in here. Um, we've, um, the minutes on the 23rd have not been written yet. We have not completed them. So the only ones that I passed around was um, the um, 21st. Do I have a motion or I could also put it off if you're not ready? We can always put it to the next one so if you would prefer. Uh, it's, they, they were extensively written. Um, I mean, there was, I, I, I haven't finished them to be honest with you. Uh, I will say that there's inconsistency in uh, Jennifer's last name. Keep almost to the she's one sentence at Saunders, the other point. <laughs> yeah, a little typos like that. It's yeah, like so it almost sounded like two different people when we were reading through it. You know, Jennifer James, Jennifer Saunders, Jennifer James. Jennifer, 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 Jennifer. Uh, <laughs> it was alternating. So I, I was having, you know, it's also four pages. So I, I really had. Did yeah, you have a chance to look at them? Why don't we push this off, off until yeah. um, we'll just push Firm. this off to the next meeting Firm. in the next one? Need a motion. Doing? Yeah, and we'll just do motion. the next. Well, I don't think we need a motion Fine. to just push them off. And so we'll just do the next one. It'll be on the 21st and the 23rd, probably. Okay. And tonight, of course. All right. Um, the other thing is on our agenda, just because I quickly, uh, this was a t another typo. Sorry about that because I copied and traced. Um, had the uh, media transfers. I don't actually. That was that was, last time. that was last time. I just forgot to take it off. <laughs> so I apologize. Uh, uh, other than that, um, we're going to jump right into the budget. Um, I showed everyone the other night um, kind of where we have been for the last five years. Uh, the last five years, we've had a shortfall. We use, um, to take care of that shortfall, we use a few things. We've used ARPA, we've used stabilization, and we use free cash to take care of our shortfall. In the last five years, we could see that 877000 was the smallest of the shortfalls. So I'm assuming in FY26, there will probably, we are we're trying very difficult to use less and less free cash and to not have a shortfall. But realistically, there probably will be again in 26. Um, so that's why the free cash is so important at this point. Um, because we've always needed it to balance. So um, in this budget, well, I've looked, we've looked at it a few times. We've gone out over these numbers a few times. Um, and basically, and some of it is like article one is only the employees, um, just their uh, Salary. salaries, the union negotiations and non-union and just all that. And then maybe um, something related to salaries, such as unemployment, but we'll go over that some more. Other than that, everything else that we've done that's using free cash, a lot of it is past due bills or something that we've already signed a contract with. So some of that stuff we kind of have to pay, right? We've signed a contract, we have to make good on it. Okay, so but other than that, we we're trying to borrow some of the things that people say they need that are that are new. We're going to try to borrow. So that's the thing. We're trying to see as much free cash as possible. Um, 
So Linda, in the first page, has given us kind of where we stand with free cash that we're looking at. Uh, yep. Yeah. 681000 in free cash for next year. Last week, it was 562 Yes. She's been working very hard, and we've been going through little by little trying to make adjustments to maybe get a little more free cash. So um, I'm not sure if we want to go over what adjustments she made or you have any questions or you want to just jump into line, um, Article 1 and we can discuss it as we go. And I'd be happy to back into using that as a uh, trying to get as much okay. free cash what it is that we did sure. because I think you've been through the articles I know you have to go through it for voting purposes but you've already been through all of the articles yes. uh, I think twice now so um, we started finding the um, having the opportunity for shifting funds around when Scott McCarthy came in from APW and said that he'd been talking with everyone down there about the use of the um, excavator. And we had it down for 50-50 borrowing within the levy and borrowing from, um, to be paid back out of water. He said, it's really more three quarters, one quarter use. So three quarters of it is allocated to water and only one quarter of it within the levy. What that does is, is frees up the amount that we had said that we would be borrowing within the levy. A little bit more um and as it turns out it's pretty much just a little, little bit dominoes here as we as as this figure becomes lower the, the multi the uh, multi-use excavator is still the full amount but the amount within the levy is being one quarter we returned um close to eighty thousand dollars for borrowing purposes so the first thing we did was go to the two items that were funded from free cash the dispatch computer server at 27,500 and the MS4 storm management amount at 50,000. So if we borrow those instead of using free cash, that immediately goes, that, that's, that goes back and increases the amount that's available at annual town meeting for next year's budget. Um, so um, we then went over and uh, Amy felt very strongly about limiting the free cash um, that was used in amending the budget, um, we did what we could. Um, there were two items that we had moved over from capital to the budgets very intentionally at the time. We didn't realize, um, you know, we had a few things that happened since then, but at the time it made sense to move over instead of borrowing it to put $20,000 into the highway budget for the purpose of doing the tree work and maybe leaving it in there each year, 20,000. And the same with uh, the library had asked for $5,000 for public use computers. And um, we said, well, if you're going to be borrowing those, maybe we should get that into your budget. So now that we are looking for free cash and we have the opening and the levy borrowing, and they had originally requested it to come out of capital, we move those back over to the capital amount and also um, add those two items in for borrowing within the levy, $5,000 for library computers and $20,000 for EBW tree work. And then the other free cash items that are paid for out of the budget. And that's this that, that's this one, if you want to color one. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. But the, um, that really uh, brought the amount that is in the budget increases to be just the increases in the um, salaries, as Amy explained. Um, unemployment and then we had a couple of figures um for board of health and police that were going to be paid out funded out of opioid funds so that has no impact on free cash then we had uh two or three uh, the couple of budget line items where we could move the money down because the expenses were not going to be running as high so that was basically it as far as what the impact of all that was is finding the difference um, between the 560 and, and now having the 681,000. That's in the all in the area of what I always call the, uh, the the lowest impact cuts. We're not decimating any budget. We're you know, not calling for anything really different. We're just shifting how we how we pay for things, um, and we do have enough room in the levy borrowing at this point to be able to to do it this way. We do still have to have um, capital vote on those suggestions that uh, Linda yeah. made. Uh, they're going to meet Thursday, 930 in the morning. Yeah. I don't see it being a problem. Great. Um, but 
we do to, to make it official, we do have to get right. that vote in. Right. Does anyone have any questions? Because we never, this is the um, the color piece that passed around um, for the. 268,102, that would be article number one. Mm -hmm. and, and we had seen article one, but we never went through the line items. What was what we, that that total? We knew there was article one, but we never knew what was the line item. So does anybody have any questions on the line items? So well, the, I, I have a question. I have a question whether or not of what my thoughts were about article number four, if it's going to be impacting number one, or should I just wait for article number four when it comes to the excavator? Uh, let's wait till we get to article number four. Okay. If you're not speaking, please mute your phone um, so that the recording is not choppy. Let me get rid of my headset. We'll, we'll try that. Um, the only thing that I okay, would add, I've gotten rid of my headset. The only thing that I would add is um, I I do think it's important that the committee knows how much work Linda has done on this. Um, the the uh, process that it goes through is, as we mentioned in the past, you know, it's a pretty stringent process and it has to go through multiple levels. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, because of what was being requested, this this number that you see in front of you, 268102 from free cash on that colored copy was near 350 at one point. Um, and so, you know, the adjustments that were being made were already going through this process and she was working to kind of get as low as possible, you know, based upon your request as well as the select board requests. So um, I think it's kind of a testament to her following the will of the, uh, of the finance committee and the select board to get that number as low as possible. And, um, and then the final part of it, I think would be on Thursday once capital Mm -hmm. uh, votes this through, uh, um, and and not to mention the fact that uh, of that two sixty eight one hundred two, you know, almost sixty thousand of that is is opioid funds. So that's another near sixty thousand. That's technically not free cash. Mm -hmm. And there was a lot of work that went into it. It's a big puzzle, and it. I mean, it was just trying to move pieces around. Which spot, you know, everything is is very much important, um, and worthwhile then it's just trying to figure out what bucket to take things out of right yeah, we try and have as little less of an impact as possible on on operational budgets and um so we had a there's a certain uh, there's certain distance you go you can go without having a great impact and then you hit this wall and say next next cuts are going to hurt <laughs> so you know so we'll see um part of what we're doing here tonight is saying is it is this is this enough or you're going to be looking or more and do we go back so um we're we'll be very interested in see seeing how you deal with this tonight okay. well again thank you for all your work and of course uh, what we're trying to avoid is next year's getting the wall that much harder with uh, exactly going exactly. in with that much less free cash available mm -hmm. and there was there was multiple requests that came through initially that we know we are still going to have to fund uh, dan's Dan's position is one of them, right? The, in order to be able to train his replacement, um, we're going to need to be able to fund that at yeah. annual town meeting. And that money has to get in there before mm -hmm. we before we have a deficit in that account. Uh, I, my brain didn't engage quick enough the last time when we were having this conversation to recognize that um, we, you know, that's something that has to happen. We won't we won't have a deficit in that line so long as that money is is gets in there before we hit June thirtieth. Um, but it's one of those things where it's not here now. Mm -hmm. So, and it, and it's really only because it's a question mark. We don't know what that amount's going to be. We haven't located a, a replacement yet. We don't know when that person's going to be hired. We don't know if it's going to be a contracted employee. You know, we don't know what kind of app applicants we're going to get. Um, so, it's really just kind of pushing it off, and it's one of the the several requests that came through that we are going to have to certainly honor once we figure out what that number is going to be. Right. This, this 
keeps the flexibility that we have. So if we if we put too many um, dollars in certain pockets and they're not needed, we can't use them for other purposes. So we're trying to keep it a little more generic. Mm -hmm. um, you know, that's we have a salary line item. We're going to deal with that and and see. We have a number of transitions and with uh, employees coming and going and, and uncertain new salary amounts for what they're coming in at. So we can't get it exactly right now if we wanted to. Right. So we we're just going to um, it's going to be a wait and see how it goes. Yeah. I mean, the thought is just don't tie the money up until you know exactly how much you're you're going to need, and we will certainly know more by April, May. Mm -hmm. uh, True. And, and uh, all the, all, I mean, we've had a lot of growth over the past few years and it's not a, not a problem we haven't seen before, right? As we're adding stuff, don't know exactly where they're going to be. Right. Right. And the other thing is that we, we will also, and I know Linda spoke with Amy about this today, we're mm -hmm. also going to be reaching out to department heads to review their budgets as we get closer to annual town meeting and see if there's anything that can be removed from their FY25 that maybe they overestimated the cost of something and we have it so we could so it wouldn't technically end up as a rollback and we wouldn't be able to use it until next time but any any anything that's extra as i was telling linda you know i can that's one of the that's one of those things where police fire dpw dispatch we can look at our overtime lines and see if there's overages there. Do we overestimate the cost of it? But one quarter in, it's almost impossible. Get me closer to halfway through a year or maybe three quarters of the way through the year, and I'll be able to give you a much better projection of what I could turn back um, to increase this number even more. Okay. Okay, so um, article number one, we're going to, and we don't, we don't have a dollar amount in there. So the dollar amount that we're voting on, article one, number one, is that the- uh, 268,102. Okay. That's- And uh, that 212,767, you can see the funding at the top, that's how much is coming out of free cash and the balance 55,335 is coming out of opioid funding. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do I have a motion for Article uh, One? How, how many years is that open with funding? Five at least. Huh? It's really strange how it is. It. It's all, and it's it's probably four to five years of total funding. Mm -hmm. But they they give us fun. They the different companies that that distribute the the funds give it to us at different times of the year. Some of them skip years. Some of them. Combine their years, it's really hard. Right. It's, so it's not consistent. It's not consistent at all. It's not. It has been, what I say, about 40,000 a year, yeah. and we haven't used it yet at all, um, which is fine. I mean, that's while well, we were sort of determining what it's going to be. So it's not going to be uh, a source of ongoing funding where you can set up a program and know that this is going to get carried indefinitely. These are definitely short term programs and uh, a way to use the money appropriately uh, according to the because the, 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 the money comes with strings attached so um, we have certain ways that we can use it and running it through programs in the police and board of health is um, exactly the right way to do it so now that we have um, that source of funding we can get a couple of those rolling and I think that they will be good for two to three years anyways this is 55 is a little more than we've been making in a single year. But as I said, we, we had two years without spending any of it. So I think that we'll be good for two or three years. And then we'll see if, if it continues or, or stops. Uh, it's just the reason why I have mm -hmm. this is that I know with ARPA and, and with all of these other kind of temporary things that we've gotten a little bit accustomed to having. Yeah. In, in terms of sort, you know, pennies from heaven. Yeah. Uh, it, I, th I think long term, we, I guess, as a finance board, as a town, we should really start thinking about okay, you know, we've been saved. There's, depending on what happens in a couple of weeks from or a week from now, right? Or a couple, uh, we don't even know where things are going to be. It's just things to think about, yeah. especially two or three years is not a long time. I mean, that, 
that comes up pretty fast, and we haven't started to sort of corrected some of these maybe things that are causing us to do this, then we're going to be in a bigger bigger problem. That's not going to be there. Right. I, I just want to be real, real clear. ARPA money was never extra money for us. Yeah, I, 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 it has been for some communities. Yeah, yeah. It has been really, yeah. really well. Yes, yeah, so we. Um, for, for the ARPA funding that we used, it was directly a replacement of all the rooms and meals tax that we lost over those years. So we were able to maintain, and so we didn't have any new program. We didn't say, great, we've got ARPA fundings, now we can do this. What we did is used it to sustain what we already had right. so that we didn't have to cut back in the program. And um, so as we uh, we were able to use it, and as the other, the meals tax and the rooms tax came back up again, we used less of the ARPA and then we weaned right off of it in three years. So, but, um, so I, I wish I just, I always want to correct that. Oh, I, I think that you do understand yeah, it, yeah, but I, I just want to correct it because I think people are under the impression that that was a lot of extra money and then maybe we used it to boost up our budget. We actually used it to stay right, right where we were. <laughs> and it was, um, we boosted it up um, because those areas of income continue to grow, and that so the growth of our budget has the growth of our regular income. Um, but we still have not done a complete catch up. That's why we started continuing to use free cash as we were losing the ARPA, but with a goal of coming down into free using less free cash each year, with the with the hope that our revenue and expenditures would kind of come together after a few years. And I don't know, that's our hope. Um, but the, the, re the revenue growth has definitely slowed down um, from what it had been in our catch up years after. And, and I think we need to do. Uh, uh, I'd like to make a motion to vote for article number one, please. Oh, I don't think, I don't think discussion was over. Well, we oh, yeah. have uh, one. You, uh, Shardul just had one comment. No, no, no. my comment is, okay. is, is, is that in terms of revenue, we, we do need to look at, a, you know, Hadley has a lot of assets and maybe underutilized assets in terms of, of opportunities for us to go and increase our tax base. And then we need to, as a finance committee, I think you know, we should go and have a better idea on maybe, and especially with, and working maybe with Board of Assessors and some of these other committees to see, okay, where, where are we not maybe reaching our potential? Mm. That was my only only comment. Okay. So um, I I have a motion from um, Peter to uh, to approve article number one. Um, Do we need to insert the amount of money, or is there yeah, yes, a please? So uh, Peter, you made the uh, you made the motion. So why don't you remake the motion using uh, adding the I think uh, available funds uh, amount sufficient of $268,102 to your motion. Okay. 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 Then, I make the motion for uh, $268,102. Okay. And I'll second that. Okay. So a motion by Peter, a uh, second by Paul, and we're going to do roll call. So I'll start. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Sergio, yes. Your turn. Peter, yes. <laughs> okay. So that is five zero zero. Article number two. So this is the enterprise fund budget. Um, the uh, this does not use free cash, and it's using. Uh, this is the one where we. Uh, I don't want to go into too much detail again, but this is where we are using um, increased uh, tax, uh, increased sewer fees for funding <clears throat> the. Um, sludge yep. and using some sewer impact fees just for the first year and it won't uh, hopefully unless the growth is again on um, beyond what we were expecting um, we should be okay with a hundred thousand dollars in the fees to fund it and no more use for no more need to use the sewer impact fees uh, there is a salary line hundred thousand is the sludge line and for water and Hadley media those Smaller items are also salaries. And then there was Hadley Media has a $5,000 expense. Once again, this is an item that was requested by Alex of the capital, and we put it back over into the budget. And since this is using Hadley Media Reserves, um, there's no reason it can't stay in the budget. Mm -hmm. 
So do I have a motion to recommend to approve article number two for uh, one hundred and sixty nine thousand six hundred and thirty nine dollars. So moved. I'll second. second. You're sure. So I have a motion by Andy and a second by Shardul. I don't see the same hands. Any more discussion on this? All right. All in favor? Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Shardul, yes. Peter, Peter yes. Okay. That's five zero zero for article number two. Article number three is the uh, prior year. Uh, this is the cleanup balances that we discussed. Mm -hmm. um, They're all water reserves. These, yes, these are all from water reserves. Um, we did talk about this yep. before, so. I'll make uh, a motion. Thank you, Paul. To approve uh, uh, article three cleanup prior capital balances. A second. Okay. We have a motion by Paul and a second by Peter. Any more discussion? Amen. Uh, I'll approve. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Gregory, yes. Yeah. Peter, yes. Okay, that's five zero zero. Okay. Okay. This is the uh, next one is article four. This is the capital item. This is where there's uh, where we have more. We'll have most of the talk here. Um, so let's see, Linda, you want to, I, I think you've added on the bottom. Of the, right. I hand wrote on the bottom. Do you, uh, I don't. Speak? So, okay. So the changes again, if you have the regular warrant yeah. are the two items that are free cash are now moved to borrowing within the levy. Um, the next two items, uh, the, the multi-use excavator, instead of being a division of one half, one half between levy borrowing and water, it's one quarter, three quarters. So the larger share going to payment out of the water fund. Uh, and so the rest stays the same. I did add, uh, add the library computers, $5,000 and the DPW tree work. Those uh, twenty thousand for tree, five thousand for computers. Uh, those would also be borrowed within the levy. So the um, total for the um, yeah, nine forty six five hundred for the capital article, and um, and that's it. Nothing can be, nothing being paid out of free cash at this time. And none of this increases anybody's tax. Correct. Right. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Article four for nine hundred and forty six thousand five hundred dollars with the two new additions and the adjustments that we discussed. Okay. We can have a discussion. Okay, second. so I have a, a motion by Paul and a second by Shardul, and now we have discussion. Is there anybody that would? Uh, uh, I know, uh, um, Peter. This is you were asking questions about the excavator. This would be where we would talk about that. Uh, yes, I still have questions about this machine and its actual use that we've been using this mini excavator that we bought, I believe, three years ago with the pump truck that we bought a few years ago. And it has been functioning for us for doing the hydrants and for digging. And I am just afraid that this machine is going to be used for doing the ditches mowing for, you know, eight, nine weeks out of the year for something that weighs 14 tons in the fields along the ditches. And we've got that New Holland, everything after time needs maintenance. I understand that. But just because of something that's old that we need to replace, that New Holland machine has Aggie tires that are, five, six feet tall, I cannot even imagine what would happen being next to those ditches for a $300,000 machine mowing lawns that has regular road tires. I would like it to that this, if we could move this to potentially next year, and if it's possible to removing the excavator and taking it off the warm. Okay. Um. So I'd like to see if we could just take, we will, maybe we can take a quick vote on remove this part out 
and vote on everything else. Remember, we I had done that one other time where I, um, when you put, you can leave it in there like this as one article, but when you do the recommendations, um, we're going to recommend, and then we recommend all, and then we can do another vote for uh, the excavator. Um, I, I would say that you know, DPW was here. We they were they made their they made their case. I agree. And I think we gave them. They made a they made their case. I think we didn't really push back for the people that were at that meeting to go and delay this after they've already made their case. I think is a little unfair. Well, I'm not saying delay it. I'm just saying recording our votes because if someone doesn't agree with all of us, we how are you going to put it on for showing the recommendation? Well, you so know, would you want to vote on? Because the, I don't. Because, so you're saying separate it out. Well, just I, I'm just saying because if if I, we agree on everything, but I don't say this one now, nah, I don't want to say no, I don't agree because I do agree on this one, this one, this one, this one, this one. Right. So basically, we're going to um, just for the recommendation purposes, we're going to say items this, except for the excavator, were voted and say it's just say it's at this number, how many of us approved. Okay. And then the excavator was voted separately, recommended separately, and this is what the yeah, it was. We have two votes. Two votes. For the same article. For the same article. I'm just saying I want to show. I understand what you're saying. I don't want to say the, it's not no to everything. No. Well, I have, I have some concerns about the uh, computers from the library. I, I haven't heard much discussion about that. Okay. And then these are suddenly $5,000 at the very late in the process here. Um, it, it just looks like way. Actually, they submitted this as a capital request. I'm sure they have. Yeah. We haven't, we haven't covered it much here. So. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, the difference between these, do you, do you want to talk about that now? Sure. I think okay. we should talk about it. The, li uh, the library computers, yes, we were going to put that into the budget back when we thought. So um, these are the public use computers. So when we, ha we have a arrangements made for uh, through a single line item in the budget for out of town hall, I think it's the 190 account for replacement of computers. And, and that replacement does include the staff at the library and senior center and all all the all the main departments. So this is, um, but when it's a public use computer, um, we don't consider that town hall supply. So they fund these separately. So we thought that that should be set out separately and not under the town hall budget. Um, it's a replacement of, um, I, he initially had asked for $10,000, $10,000 and then waiting five years and, and doing it again. And the reason it came down to 5,000 was uh, because if you put 5,000 into the budget for providing the services to the public, that it would be a smoother budget item if it was 5,000 a year. So um, now, and, and I feel bad, I haven't even talked to Patrick about it because we've been working on this so last minute, but. Um, I kept it down at 5,000 because we don't want to exceed our borrowing over the levy amount. But it is the public use ones, children, seniors, adults, all ages, the ones that you can go into the library and sit down and use a computer. They were uh, new at the time that they uh, built the library and um, they are now entering a, phase, uh, entering a time when they need to um, be circulated through and, and be replaced on some kind of a schedule over the next few years. They get a lot of heavy use. They're used most of the time. So they about five years, six years? Uh, 2019, they were, they had opened, I think they opened during COVID, so 20, yeah. so it's four, four to five years. So, yeah. Yes, he's, he's planning to get this actually. How many computers? Mm, 10 or 15. Yeah, I'll have to get some more what information is, from yeah, him. Yeah, what does the 5,000 represent? Is that probably I five? I want to say he's replacing them on a schedule. Yes, yeah, it's, it's five happens. computers at a time. What? And for 10,000, so I'm assuming if you cut it to five, it's probably five. Five computers? Yeah, five um, five computers. So his actual plan, if you, uh, it's not going to be replaced till the end of this year. If Had we put it in the budget, it was going to be something he was going to buy them the end of 25 and the beginning of 26. So he could be getting them to be very 
similar uh, or the same model right away. So, um, so that's it. So big picture. Are they just acting slow at this? These computers are for just um, internet and Google searches that these computers need to be replaced after four years. Are they for gaming for the kids? I don't know, I, Peter. I I'm not really that. sure. We can't answer for that. But he's probably just putting it in capital because he he's trying to be proactive about you know keeping his assets on a regular basis. Okay. So, that, so there will be a, you know a cycle of five this year, potentially the five the following year. It's not going to be the whole lot. And then in five years, they're going to say, we need another 15 new computers. Yeah, they will be years. staged. Yes. Okay. Dan. Patrick said that they had initially wanted 20 computers when the library opened, but they only got 10. So he was asking for 10 more now to bring it up with what they should have had when they opened. So I don't think he's replaced the computer. He's adding. He's adding. He's adding additional units. Okay. To get up to what they they thought they needed when they opened. As far as the big picture goes on how you should handle it, I mean, if it was one item, I think you probably could handle it the way that Amy was suggesting. But now we may have two items, and I don't know how many different votes. Well, let's see. Let's go and then see how we can. Well, so that's my. That's what I'm saying is, is yeah. that you could either you could vote on the whole article and and well, turn it. And... Well, these, that, that one was never discussed. Okay. They yeah, never that, they right. never came here. Or, that's a new, uh, new thing. And, and, and obviously, we're talking about two very different concepts. If one is replacement of exactly. right. five year old computers, and one is is and because you want to do it a phase, and so one other is yeah. doubling the population, that we would then have to replace down uh, down the road. Yeah, that's and I didn't bring and my capital file. Yeah, now you're. We're facing now. You're going to be like phasing in 20, 20 computers. Twenty yeah. computers every five years, or whatever. Yeah. Every every few years, staggered ten in five years or something. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I'm I'm comfortable pushing that one off just so that we can. I think we're not hearing it from the person that's requesting this. So yeah, yeah. but that was a little bit. So, so what? Happened, so so yeah. what's going on is. So capital heard it, and then they tried to move it. So because it's a smaller item, it was already approved by capital. You're yeah. on that committee. Yeah, I just well, don't remember this coming up. I mean, we're only been on two meetings, so. But the problem is, is so you moved the speed, it out but... of capital, so you didn't really vote on right. it in capital vote because you moved it, and you said because you only had so much in the levy, you're trying to think it's just a puzzle. Oh well, why don't we try to put it to the regular budget, and then we moved it back into the general budget mm -hmm. on this budget so the problem is is when i saw it i'm like well we sh should try to put it in with all the other stuff back to where all the other stuff up mm -hmm. patrick hasn't had an opportunity because we just did this today saying well why is this one way over here we need to move it back and that way we can borrow for it then they made it a face well I, oh, that it was oh because Charles said because he's not here to speak to it and I, I didn't I, you know no, I, didn't, no, I didn't tell him we were no, going to no, be no, talking we, about yeah, it. Yeah, I'm not. So I'm I just not just I'm fault. feeling bad. Yeah. Um, I mean, he certainly can speak to it. They, are you meeting Wednesday with the select board? Yes. Maybe you might want to hold off on that one section and have Patrick. You could Maybe vote. That, you could vote on Wednesday night. Maybe we just do that also with uh, the, the tree work. Is that because we haven't spoken about tree that. work and maybe the excavator? Just have it. If those are I, one more visit. Well, I don't. The oh, some, that works up to you. well, here's the thing. Um, I I know that Peter is with us today, and I'd like to have his input. But at the same time, um, he's not going to be with us on. He's on vacation, mm -hmm. so he will not be at the next meeting. Okay. So we want to get as much. From everybody's input. Um, now, as far as the excavator goes, I just want to point out, um, just throwing out my thoughts. Um, at first, I thought my original thought was we could push off the excavator, um, just like Peter said at one point. Um, 
because I wanted to relieve space within the levee. Well, when they moved it to the water, that helped a lot. Right. And that, that did, it helped a lot. So it did give us some more room. Um, so it took care of that. After talking to Paul, I learned a little bit more about, because he went to visit and, and he went to yeah. do the site and, and check out the excavator. So I felt pretty comfortable with that. So at this point, because I, I um, uh, with Paul's knowledge of what ha what did happen with the excavator and knowing it's not going to affect our free cash as much, I'm now leaning to approve uh, on my end the excavator because I do feel like down the road it will help us because it's going to alleviate us from having to get another backhoe. We don't have to do the mower. We won't have to worry about even the mini excavator if something's wrong with that. I mean, it's so it, it does a and lot. The, the John Deere is we can't get parts. I mean, this has been offline longer than it should be. And we're now putting fabricated parts on it that aren't even exact to spec because the company that makes them doesn't make them exactly to spec. So I feel like uh, one, that's that's not a good place to be, especially when you talk about the wheel, to have it, you know, not line up properly, have to be shimmed or whatever they're doing to make it work. Um, it, to me, it's a liability. And uh, if we can't get parts for something after, you know, 20 years, like I said, it's a different world. I mean, you know, we have farmers around here had, you know, equipment, they run for 40 years, they, you know, make parts, they, they you know, scavenge, but you can't do that anymore at this level. It's just not practicable. And I, and I think to um, tie up our, our DPW people, this is a faster moving piece of equipment. I, I don't think, I trust, Peter, I'm not uh, trying to um, argue with you, but I do trust the DPW's judgment here in what I saw. And I think if they're comfortable driving it into these gullies um, with the weight distribution, then I think we need to trust them. That's why we pay them. And if we find that in a year that we're uh, setting a wrecker in there to get them out of there, then we'll, we'll address it at that level. I mean, I really think them we'll have to change the way we're trusting them, but I really believe they know what they're talking about here and the equipment that we have. Some of it is very old and you can't get parts for it. I mean, it is, that's just what it is. You know, um, the other thing is that, it, you know, we're, we have to realize that this is servicing, not just people's homes and be in just certain areas. We're, we're, we're servicing quite a bit of the commercial area on yeah. the nine. You know, this, this piece of equipment is not just, which is really a, our golden goose of Hadley. Right. So we have to make sure that, you know, as one of those commercial people, that our quality of service that we provide them is up to a standard because their downtime means it's going to be yeah. an issue for their business, which translates to issues for our tax rate. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah. So is the is the excavator going to stay on the warrant, or are we going to so what we'll pass do, it down I'll... to wait, or is it going to stay on the warrant? I was going to say that you know, Peter, we don't all have to vote. In you know, there's five people, five different opinions here. Um, right. You know, we're certainly entitled. We don't have to vote unanimously on things. Um, mm -hmm. I just want to add that uh, uh, you know. Linda, your hard work and helping to move that out yep. really did, it, you know, it's, it is 70, almost $78,000 in deferred, uh, deferring off of um, Free cash. the budget. And also in my investigation of it and talking with folks that are involved in the purchase, I mean, the, the, the number one use that came out of them was not lawn, lawn mowing the ditches, but uh, um, the New Holland is failure is the impetus to move rather quickly on this to maintain the sort of the main, make sure that we're keeping the ditches up to up to the state's requirements. Um, but it's really as Chardou was saying, it's uh, it's for digging uh, ditches a bit for the, the water department, which is why it's been moved over there. They use it to you know if we've got a major problem with a, a, a water main break. Uh, or a sewer break, you know, that's really what the excavator is all about. It's the, the, the mowing and the grapple are just, uh, you know, different accessories that we can turn it into a multi-use tool. Um, and, you know, one of the big things with the New Holland was the counterweights. That's why the wheel's bent and broken. And it also, that adds an awful lot of weight to when it is going into the farm field. So you have to put 
these massive weights on them that actually create it where the, the Volvo doesn't require that. It turns within itself. It doesn't need these massive counterweights to keep it from tipping with a, an arm articulating. So um, that being said, um, I, I'm sorry, Peter, I interrupted. I'll turn it back over to you. <laughs> oh. All right. So um, let's just see how it goes. Let's um, do it. If I could just see if I could get a motion to approve um, let's see, we want to look at without the excavator. Do we have any other talk about the trees? We didn't is the twenty thousand dollars going for the tree budget? Just want to make sure. Frank, frankly, I think we could borrow a hundred thousand and not get all the tree work done that we need to do. So twenty thousand, if we can borrow within the levy, I'm all for it. Okay. We have some very dangerous trees. You, I walk on sidewalks on Middle Street. Um, I look up sometimes and I go, "Let's keep walking." Okay. Don't don't stay under these trees. It, okay. I'm surprised this isn't a budget item. Or it hasn't been yeah, a budget item right. already. I mean, I, I've been talking to. Uh, DPW about you know trees on on in, in my neighborhood, and there are some, our neighborhood, and there's some really scary things out there. I just, I just cracked the windshield. Yeah, I mean, every every source went yeah. through there, did a great job. Yeah, every source has been good partners to the town. Every source has been very helpful. They respond. To, they're responsive to the calls, but they're not when you know a tree gets blown over in the wind. It's not always the utilities are going to going to respond to that. It is in the budget. Yeah. It's just he, he needs a he needed yeah, a, 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 a leap. Yeah, we're, a leap up and catch up. How we're how gonna tell he, is it, he had sixty sixty seventy thousand dollars. Sixty or seventy thousand, yeah. and he asked for twenty more. And it's is that a result of all said, It's not going to be yeah. enough. It's not yeah. going to be enough. For I, and but it's a start. so what we told him was is do your work, just continue to do your work as you see fit and. When we have, just like the other items, when we have a better idea of what your budget looks like in May at annual town meeting, we can, you know, we can make an adjustment there. So it is in his budget. Good. We did move it out of there and into his budget. So you don't have to worry about it being in Article 4. Oh, it is. We did move it into yes. Article 4, right? No. Right. Well, it's, it's, yes, it's out. No, it was out, but now it's back it's in. It's back in. Oh, it's, back yes, in. I'm sorry. Back it's in. back in. It's back in. So if I, if I may, what we're talking about like possibly it. doing yes. is, is taking the DPW multi-use excavator out of Article 4.1. Can we make it 4.2 and make it a separate vote so that anybody who disagrees with just that one item, because I don't think there's any disagreement on anything else. So we can have a unanimous agreement on all the other things. We may not have a unanimous agreement on on 4.1 if we create it that way 4.2 4.2 rather i'm sorry well, we have a four point nice try 4.3 and, and, and we have a 4.2 already but i want to make it a 1a but understand the warrant belongs to the select board okay. yes i understand so, okay. <laughs> I, 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 that's fine i mean i yeah. i'm i mean personally i would just vote this thing in right now i'm satisfied with all the items um but uh peter uh, you know, I don't want you to have to vote no against it uh, if you're going to vote down the whole thing because of one item. Um, so what if you made your motion to make a Article 4.1A just for the excavator and vote that? Right. If it fails, then you vote the Article 4 as is. Okay. So we have a motion. So you, do, you, do you need me to make the motion to change uh, to moving the excavator? From 4.1 to individual 4.1a. We can't move it. Okay. No, this is the select boards. Select boards. Okay. All right. Yeah. But you you can make your recommendations. Uh, I what I said. I mean, you can do it that way. You want us to just go item by item? You or you could make your approvals uh, qualified. You could vote um, motion to approve the entire amount. Two or three of you might say yes, and one of you might say yes, except for, and make that as an exception. Okay. And that way, we're still leaving it as a unit. Peter, are you okay with that? Well, I just want to make sure my note that it's a, um, uh, my vote is for me opposing this excavator. So, That's however, yes. Okay. Yes. So, you could, you, okay, we can if, if I understand it, you're going to vote yes. Assuming you're voting yes on everything else, you will vote yes on all the items except no on the excavator so just say that when it's when it's your turn peter okay okay 
and that'll be duly uh, noted in the minutes. Yes. So, so when it comes to the voting, as so when it so when it comes to the voting on to the because we've all said five you know five zero zero. Even though I'm saying yes to Article four one, is it going to say you know when it comes to voting? Even though I'm verbally saying that the town or whoever is going or the select board is going to say or see, is it going to be five zero zero or is it going to be four zero one? No, it's going to be five zero zero with the uh, with the exception of the multi-use excavator, which was assuming you're the only one would be four one zero. Okay. Unless someone joins okay. you. Okay. As, as, as long as it is specifically noted right. that I, uh, the, it'll go into the minutes uh -huh. and it'll go to the planning and not planning the select board meeting on Wednesday. They will understand that there's one person or more that just don't want the excavator. If those are the only issues that we have here. Okay. Okay. All right. So I'll make a motion that we approve, uh, capital articles, article 4.1. So moved. And and I'm sorry for nine hundred forty six thousand five hundred dollars. So moved. Okay. So we have a on a um. So a second it, you mean? Yeah. A mo a motion by Paul and a second by Sir Okay. okay. And now we'll do a roll call. A and roll that's call Peter. Goes. When you get to do your. Amy yes. Uh, Andy yes. Paul yes. Sir yes. Uh, Peter, yes, as long as the multi-use excavator is removed from 4.1. Perfect. Perfect. Is, except for Peter said a no on that. Is it removed or just that he's against it? I think it's I just that, that you're against you know, that, that would mean if it's not removed that you're against the whole article. You're yeah, you can't say, just control. say that you're saying no to the Well, excavator. you guys, okay, okay, uh, no to article 4.1. No, no, you, you're going to vote out the whole article? Okay. Well, that's what you were saying, that I could no, verbally no, no, no. say that's saying, yes. That's what you said before. You, you can say yes to article. You, you can say yes as voted with the exception that you wanted noted that you are voting, you're voting yes on all the items except for the multi-use excavator for the DPW. That way you recorded as being that. against that. Can you do that? Okay. All right. I thought I did do that. Well, no, you, you, the way you said it, it, you voted down the whole thing. All of it. Okay. okay. So you want to re-record your vote? I would like to say yes on Article 4.1, except the excavator. Okay. Perfect. That sounds right. That's what we needed. Okay, yeah. thank you. I'm not and you're on vacation after this. Have a wonderful vacation. But stay uh -oh. in for the rest of the meeting. Thanks. <laughs> Okay. All right. Where are we? Part two. Top of the next page. Oh. All right. That's so the redirection of the text. Oh. Exactly. Uh, so my four one A might be something to explore on. Yeah, the, the select board will decide how they want to if they if and how they want to handle it. Well, you right. also still have this is technically right. your article too in capital. Right. So there there yeah, could right. be capital. right. Capital's going to need to right. three different opinions. So oh, I get the whole thing. Do I get three votes here? <laughs> you get <laughs> you do board. technically. Wow. And no extra charge. Wow. Okay. So I'll make a motion that we approve the four point two article four point two, which is a redirection of the water tank funds in the amount of three hundred and ten thousand dollars from the original purpose uh, for the funds, which was to paint the Mount Water, Mount Holyoke Warner tanks to instead the purpose of redesigning and, reconst and constructing the new tanks, which we have elected to do in lieu of painting and repairing. For, and for clarification, those two new water storage tanks are at Mount Warner? Yes, Mount Warner, I'm sorry. Second. Okay, so we have a motion by Paul and a second by Sherdual. Does anybody have any more discussion on this? We've talked about it. Okay. Okay. Roll call. Um, roll call vote. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Adul, yes. Peter, yes. Thank you. Okay. So, Article 5 is prior year bills. So, I'll make a motion to approve this. Okay. Motion to approve. A second. Uh, Article 5 uh, prior year bills. In the amount of one thousand four hundred sixty-three dollars and fifteen cents for prior year invoices into the received in the fiscal year twenty twenty-five. So we have a motion by Paul and a second by Peter. 
Does anybody have any um, questions on this? Hmm? Roll call. Amy, yes. Annie, yes. Paul, yes. Peter, yes. Great. Thank you. Hmm? Article 6, CPA extension. I'll make a motion to uh, approve Article 6, CPA extensions. Second. Okay. Our, um, uh, motion by Paul, second by Sardua. Any other thoughts on this? None. And none. Uh, Amy, yes. Amy, yes. Paul, yes. Sardua, yes. Peter, yes. Great. Five zero zero. Article 7. Uh, this is the Hadley Elementary School playground resurfacing. Uh, this is the, uh, do I have a motion on this? I'll make a motion to approve Hadley's uh, Elementary School playground resurfacing. And you need, what's the total here? A total of $290,000 uh, from CPA. Yep. A second. Okay, we have a motion by Paul and a second by Peter. Any discussion? Okay. Amy, yes. It is. Paul, oh, yes. Ardua, yes. Peter, yes. Okay, great. Five zero zero. Article eight, Hadley Historical Commission Preservation Plan. Anybody else want to make a motion? Just for the heck of it. Make a motion. To... Uh, I make a motion. Uh, Shardo beat you. <laughs> okay. You can second it though. In the next one, Peter. You can second it though. Okay. Uh, to transfer two thousand dollars from CPA uh, to the Historical Commission Preservation Plan. Okay. Second. Peter, you're second. Yeah. Okay. So we have a motion by Shardul and a second by Peter. Do we have any other discussion on this one? No. And then Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Shardul, yes. Peter, yes. Great, five zero zero. Article nine, Town Hall and Goodwood Memorial Building Space Needs Analysis. Your turn. <laughs> My turn, okay, I'm making a motion for article number nine. Okay, I'll second. Okay, so we have a, a motion by Peter and a second uh, by Paul, any other discussion on this? I think Jennifer did a good job the other day, so <laughs> okay. So Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Erdogan, yes. Peter, yes. Right, five zero zero. Article ten, special revenue revolving fund grant balances. I'll make a motion that we. Approve Article 10 Special Revenue Revolving Fund Balances for the amount of $24,015.24. Second. Motion by Paul, second by Sir Duell. Any questions on this? I know that Linda went through this one with a fine tooth comb too. Yeah. You tried looking, right, Linda? <laughs> yes, yeah, so they'll, they'll, just, they'll just keep popping up on us. Yeah, we have, to, we have to clean these up. Thanks, Linda. Thanks, Scott, for <laughs> Yeah. Help you drag that money back up. Right. Yep. All right. Are there any more detractors? Okay. okay. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Federal, yes. Peter, yes. Hey. Article 11, select board projects. This, I have a, on um, this one, I think, um, and they're looking at possibly separating these so when we're doing these if we could um do article 11.1 then do 11.2 and do 11.3 okay okay so do i have a motion for 11.1 yes i'll make a motion for 11.1 form of government study for ten thousand dollars for free cash okay. motion by paul second by sure dual this is the ten thousand dollars um, for the form of government study. And this was um, a contract that was signed in this in the uh, spring. spring and it had already been started. So this is one. Um, Since we signed the contract. 
<laughs> we do not want to look like um, we are going back on our on our work. So, any other discussion on this? Right, uh, Amy. Yes. Andy, abstain. Okay. Paul, yes. Ardo, yes. Peter, yes. Okay, so we have uh, four, oh, four nine. zero one. Okay, Article 11.2. I'll make a motion that we approve Article 11.2. It's a solar project study. I believe it's for the uh, landfill. Okay. Second. $12,000. Okay. okay. So we have a motion by Paul and a second by Shardun. Um, I do believe, can we look on our um, Zoom? Because I think there's some people that might want to talk about this it's up for, we're in discussion on this one and to see if there's anyone on Zoom that wishes to do this. Do we have to do anything? Tonight? Yeah, we and this study is only for the dump on Cemetery Road, has no other looks into anything else, correct? Okay. Yes, yeah, so if there's somebody here to talk to the solar project, uh, now's the time to speak up. Okay. He thought he was coming. David, no, uh, yeah, he sent me a text while I was sitting here and asking, and I said, go on to the website. <laughs> I don't see anybody else. But there. if he's not there, then that's fine. Okay. He's, he, I, he just said, I, I'm here for any questions. Okay. So, um, yeah, and this one, I, uh, because it's in the one spot, and there has been so many questions on this between um, on that particular spot. And I am just not the biggest fan of some studies that just go on a shelf. So because there's so many questions on that particular spot, I think it's something we have to consider. Plus, it is using free cash. So just remember, I need 12, even though it's not a lot of money, $12,000 down the road, that $12,000 next year when we're looking to take it out of someone's budget, it's a lot of money. <laughs> Every little line item helps. $12,000 can be a lot to a department. Um, so, um, so we have a motion and we have a second. Do we have any other um, discussion? I think we've discussed it the other day. Yeah, I agree. The free cash is that, and, and I haven't been uh, it, I don't get a sense that there's urgency that it has to happen now. Um, this hasn't been already signed or anything. No. no. Just still in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Simmering. Uh -huh. <laughs> and if it doesn't have to happen now, I mean, we, you know, this is an opportunity to save some 12,000 for the spring yeah. if needed. Well, and, and I, we can deal with it, you know, in the spring. There's really not, not much going to happen. Well, the timing of it might be good because I've, I've heard that there is a renewable energy bill that might be coming through the state legislation. So there might be some funds in there for um, additional funding for it. Yeah, yeah, additional funding that we can maybe utilize, if, especially if we've already started something like this and have something in process that we could quickly utilize some of that public money for something like this. But it seems like the timing of it is pretty good. Any others? Okay, we'll do a roll call. Amy, no. Andy, no. I'm mixed on this one. Um, all right, I'll vote no at this point. Let it sit. I vote Peter, Peter no. Okay. Peter, so no. Okay. So we have a four. One, four, zero. One, oh, yeah, yeah, four, four, zero. That's because the motion was to was to approve. approve. So it's a one four zero. Okay. All right. So eleven point three town administrator search firm. Um, this is similar thing where it's it's taken free cash. Um, it's a new contract we're looking to sign. Um, uh, is there any other discussion or what? Let's have a motion. I'll make a motion to approve 11.3 town administration firm okay. search for 15,000. Second. Okay, motion by Paul, second by Shardul. 
Anybody else want to discuss this? Do we have any comments? I know we haven't. Uh, you're doing such a great job. <laughs> <laughs> um, I appreciate that. Okay. And I know that we have a, a new uh, HR person um, just coming on. They're just coming on. Uh, I know that and all the reasons that we talked about the last time, but I just, I'd like to, I mean, we've had a, a, a bunch of time go by. I don't know what efforts have been made in the meantime to um, at least advance this process rather than holding out for, um, I mean, we had the firm the last time around, right? Well, we had the firm the last time around, but the times before that, all the other times before that, we did not have a firm. So this was, last time was the first time we had a firm. So we found very, very good people in the past. Very good. The, uh, David Nixon was here with us for a long time. And Robin before that, long time, excellent. We had Bernie for a year in between. So, uh, anybody else? Okay, so I'll start the uh, roll call vote. Amy, no. Andy, no. Peter, no. Yeah, I'll vote yes on this. I'm concerned about timing at this point. Okay. I go again. So we have two, two three, zero. Three, zero. Oh. All right, let's keep moving. Employee, uh, let's see, compensated time fund. Okay, so did you increase this one? Yes, we had to increase mm -hmm. this one. That's so this is, okay, we voted um, a couple of years ago, we put in $10,000 into the employee yeah. compensated, yeah. Um, compensated time fund. So when, when they leave, we have to pay them a certain amount of their unused benefits and their unused fine. And so there was a departure package. Um, so we put 10,000 into the fund. Uh, the idea of having a separate fund is that uh, we have a place to draw from without having to go to town meeting and get each, uh, each one approved uh, when an employee leaves. Then we got hit with some, more, uh, some longer term, uh, higher paid uh, departures all kind of at once. And the actual cost to us this year is going to be $68,000. Uh, we do have the 10,000 in, so by 60, we're really just covering that and we might have 2,000 left over. So um, this is a note to, note to ourselves. Um, don't, when we start a fund like that for $10,000, it was a good reason and we should have done it for the, for the two more years and then we'd have 30 in there, but we didn't continue. But it now will be standard to start putting that money away. So we, we need it. Okay. We have a motion. I'll make a motion or, uh, to uh, approve Article 12 Employee Compensated Time Fund for $60,000 from free cash. Second. Um, motion by Paul, second by Peter. Any other discussion on it? Okay. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Virgil, yes. Peter, yes. Right. Ambulance transfer of special uh, revenue funds with 350,000. We have a motion. Oh, I and still have a question it. about this. When it came to talking to the fire chief, is this money just going to be set aside and allocated for this until what's going on? Because nothing, no time has been set as to when there'd be a reimbursement back to the town, knowing that we wouldn't even have our ambulances at the ALS certification, that it will take more time. So is this just setting money aside until this happens? Because there hasn't been any agreements with the fire department as to when the town could pay back. Right. And what happens uh if they don't make the money? So is this how is this working that we're all just saying yes to this and he's got the money, but with no agreements as to how it's being paid back. All right. So before we finish uh, answering your question, um, did you make a motion? No, but I was about oh, to let's make a motion and then we'll have we'll a do it as discussion. discussion. Is that okay, Peter? Yes. 
Fine. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve Article 13, the ambulance transfer of special revenue fund in the amount of $350,000 from stabilization fund for the ambulance services budget. I'll second. Motion by Paul, second by Andy. Okay, so now for discussion. Um, my understanding, Peter, is this 350000 we didn't, um, in the spring, this past spring, we did not fund the ambulance department in full. We, we took it and we only, this will make them complete. We, ne we never did fund them 100%. We did the whole department and only gave them 185000 for uh, through FY for the FY25 budget. That's all the free cash we had. Right, that's all we had at the time. So then, so we kind of pushed it off knowing that we would have to give them some more. Um, the problem is, is there, it's, it's a process. So the process is they had to start with the BLS, which you don't get a lot of, um, you can bill out for it. There is a three month lag and you do bill out for it, but you bill out for it at a smaller rate. Um, so, and it is only on the second call. So that's why they have not been able, it's, it's not something, and we knew that, that it was not something that we're going to, you know, sustain a regular, um, take care of a whole budget with what they were doing now. Now, he is looking at the ALS and that will be soon, but it does, and we're looking at, uh, and maybe the fire chief can talk about it some more, but it's, it's just not yet. It's a multi-year plan mm -hmm. to get there. You, it doesn't, you, unless we had had hired uh, BLS people right off the bat, and in fact, they still have to work within their own, so many calls within their own ambulance service anyway, I think for certification. So it's a certification process that takes time. And as we bring more people on, we'll have some, we may end up with some people who are fully approved and some who are in the, in the training certification period. So it's gonna be a, a, a rolling uh, event of getting people online as well as of getting our ambulances to the volume that we need to handle the town without any outside company helping us. Okay. Well, the potential is there. The potential is definitely there. And, and the chief, I think I got the impression that at the last couple of times we talked to him, that he is fully on board, that he has to put together essentially a pro forma business plan to at least give a, a reasonable estimate because it's, again, it's going to be an estimate because there's so many variables here. You, you send a bill for so much and the insurance companies knock it down to a certain amount. There's a lot of negotiating going on. We're doing our own billing, so we're getting a much higher rate, we think, than some companies that, that out, some ambulance services that outsource. He made that very clear. So there's a lot of things he's doing that are working in our favor, and uh, but time is what we're up against here. And, and that's, it's just, we didn't fund the whole thing. So he's coming back for some more of the money that we couldn't fund before. We were being prudent because we didn't have all the money at the time, we didn't know where we'd be moving forward. So, okay. Peter, Peter, to answer your specific question, um, this 350 is not being set aside. This is the money that he needs to basically complete FY25. Right. Um, the the other specific question you asked, as far as pay, when is it going to be paid back, or uh, is there a, an agreement or anything? I, I think that's something that you all can discuss uh, right now. Uh, or in the near future, I don't I, know. I kind of don't want, I, I, when, when we're doing this, it's with the understanding that it is to be come back to stabilization at some point. Um, if, but it came, if it came from there, that's where it would It should go back. back. But at the same time, I don't feel that I want to have a, a set date on that because we, I'm just not sure when that's going to start. I, I don't want to make a, a department um, be in trouble because we, we right. put a. Uh, That's right. The, the payback should should be out of the extra money that come, the extra re revenues that come in when they're up and rolling. It should yeah. be something that becomes an obligation that they have to do, which cramps their 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 their, their services. Yeah, yeah. Right. then we're from we ourselves. <laughs> yeah, that won't help. The other so, thing that uh, Mike had mentioned was uh, Ludlow program about the ambulance subscription. I did talk to somebody in Ludlow about it and they said it's a phenomenal program that their that reserve they basically pay for their ambulance ambulances and mm. 
yeah. with with those uh, with those funds. So that potential by itself is more than enough to cover some of these things. Yeah, I, I, well, someone I work with is also in a town, not Ludlow, I think, Victor in East Hampton. That also has a similar um, subscription service to the ambulance, and you know they they told all their friends in town, and they're all buying into it to to cover themselves. But I, I certainly think that. In my mind, after thinking about it, it seems like the faster we get the ALS, the better. quicker we're just going to start gen generating mm -hmm. revenue. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't make sense to starve the system to uh, to draw this out. And at the same time, uh, the chief did talk about um, using uh, any extra BLS service opportunities to do special trips. You can pick people up from the lane, bring them over to their medical appointments, what have you, or hospital runs. So it sounds like there, there's a lot of effort to generate some revenue to, to help carry that. So you're not going to find somebody who thinks more outside the box than your fire chief. So mm -hmm. I'm actually way. here if you have any questions. Oh, there you go. <laughs> We're doing it for you, Mike. Yep, you're doing a great job. I'll just shut up. <laughs> just just one no, no, reminder it's, this, it's mute this yourself a, is the proper <laughs> is the politically correct way okay sorry. Mute yourself. i Jeez, do appreciate this. It, it was a phase in program here just to answer we did we were able to move about 85 or eighty-four thousand over from the first year so we mm -hmm. have been pinching every penny possible uh but i would consider this a startup cost as if you were starting a business and again, we are only running second calls. We average about 150 calls a year that are going to mutual aid. Um, and again, so that's what that ambulance is going out the door for. And we can't even hit all of those calls. Um, when we get busy, we get where we're having three or four ambulances in town at the same time. So that's that's what we're trying to we're trying to hit those those calls right now. And just so you know that if we if we are responding to a call and it is in an ALS level. We are billing at that ALS level because we bring on board a paramedic from one of our, our you know, our mutual aid partners. So if we go out as a ALS unit and it's a call that's at the ALS level, uh, our ambulance bills out for that. And then we pay, it's it's called an intercept fee. We pay to whoever picked us up. And that usually averages between three and $500. Okay, so let's see. Uh, we'll Do you have any other questions, Peter? No. No. Does anybody else? No. All right, let's uh, do a roll call vote. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Peter, yes. Peter, yes. Okay. Thank you. Do you all take votes on non? You know, Financial. Well, this one is that financial, the investor rule. Yeah, you might want to take a yeah, vote on that. Sure. Right? Yeah, the adopt uh, the prudent investor rule is just uh, it, it's a state provision. If we vote for this, the treasurer then gets to invest our trust funds. It only applies to the the trust funds a little more aggressively. Otherwise, we are limited to a legal list, which is around a while and it's very you know banks very very conservative. Uh, investments so I could get a little more aggressive. I don't personally do it. We use Bartholomew, so I mean, you don't have to worry about me, what I'm going to do. And I tend to invest things on the conservative side, anyways. But I think this is a good idea to have as an option, especially as the market swings in different directions, that, um, that there be a little more leeway um, in how these yeah. funds are invested. I'd give Linda my personal bag. <laughs> yeah. Not that that matters. Do I have a motion yes, for I have a balance, Article yeah. 14? <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, to approve I'll second. Okay. Article 14 to adopt the prudent investor rule. Great. And so I have a motion by Virgil and a second by Paul. Yes, sorry. Early second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Any other discussion on this? Okay. Uh, roll call. Amy, yes. Andy, yes. Paul, yes. Virgil, yes. Peter, yes. Okay. okay. I think that would be okay. Is it? I have my motion. You need a motion for me? Oh, yeah, let's now for next meeting. 
So the next meeting um, is just it will be a joint meeting. Uh, Peter, I understand you'll still be on vacation, so that's that uh, would what be. is the what is the date on that uh, joint meeting? It's Wednesday, the twenty third. Uh, no, no, the thirtieth, thirtieth, twenty third. This that, one. That was that was. You're using the wayback machine again. I told you, don't use that in public. <laughs> They're not supposed that's to know that. Great. I'd love to do it. Over. Yeah. Except yeah. for the investing, right? Again. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So, uh, no, I will not be present for that one. Okay. So the thirtieth, we will be meeting on the thirtieth here. Yeah. Two days, um, and it is just to give the recommendation to the select board of what we just discussed here tonight. In other words, to explain okay. ourselves. <laughs> and I want to emphasize that when it comes to this, that my, uh, when it comes to 4.1, that I do approve of five, but exception of that uh, excavator that will be noted, of course. Yeah. We'll relay that. Okay. So are you, willing, are you meeting again next week, or are you willing to meet again if something um, different happens with the Capital Planning Committee on Thursday morning? If, if there's anything pulled out of here, I will be asking. Um, if I there's something, something separate, we'll we'll have to. Yeah, we'll then I'll send a, well, you'll know. a, text, yeah, I'll know. a yeah. text around and we will Monday night. figure out something to yeah. Yeah. available to come back. Right. Will we have time if you post it Thursday? Monday? It'll be Thursday morning. Yeah, you will, because it's 48. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's a, it's okay. I mean, we won't really have up until uh, town meeting itself to change recommendations and then the select board will be working on motions. Um, most of this is uh, what will be set is the actual wording of the warrant itself. So uh, there's yeah. always options to make different decisions okay. right up to town meeting. Right. Well, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn the meeting. Second. <laughs> second. Okay, so we have a motion and a second. Amy, yes. Paul, yes. I do, yes. Peter, yes. All right. Thank you, everyone.